Hi and welcome back to the Symmetry YouTube channel. Today we've got an excellent video from our simulation expert Wazim Yunus about using frame analysis in Autodesk Inventor. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks. Bye. Hi, my name is Wasim. I work for Symmetry and here I'm going to show you how to perform a frame analysis in Inventor. The first thing to note here is that the main structural components of this platform are used using parts from the content center. The parts have to be created from content center or using frame generator in order the frame analysis to work. So now we'll go straight into frame analysis. Now you can see that all the content created from the content center has converted into line and these are referred to as beams within frame analysis. So we're going to hide all the non content center components and we'll be left with the main structure of the platform and all the parts which have been created using content center. As you can see, because we had a T connection there, there is going to be a gap. So we're going to connect these points. And we're just going to increase the tolerance. And you can see now everything is connected. We're now going to change the direction of the gravity. And now we're going to apply some constraints at the bottom of the platform to simulate that all the wheels are braked. So we'll go around all the four wheels. And we can change the size of the uh, constraints and the loads and now we need to simulate the weight of two people with their maintenance kit on the platform and to do that we're going to use continuous load we can specify a total load divided by the total length of all the structure beneath the main platform which is about 6.6 .6 meters And we're going to apply this load on all the structures beneath the platform. And now we're ready to simulate. We're simply going to hide the boundary conditions. We're now going to, we can look at the displacement results we can also look at the stress results. What you can also do in frame analysis is actually interrogate individual structures and beams and look at the reaction forces, bending moment diagrams, shear stress and torsional stresses. What you can also do is you can actually plot the moments on the physical model itself. And we can change the properties. And you can also change the scale. Now if we decide that we want to make the structure out of a different material, we can simply clone the original model. We then go in 
into materials and we'll pick all the tubes. And we can change the material to let's say aluminium and simply run the simulation again. And you can see that displacement has slightly increased. I hope you found this analysis and this video presentation of any use. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you want some more information about training on frame analysis and cell of Menta or any of the simulation products, please get in contact with us. Please come back to the YouTube channel for more videos. Thanks, bye.